this week we're going to try and get the same box race and rolling. We're going to start by using this piece of steel, which used to be the bottom of the coffee maker, to make clips to hold the wheels on. Let's hope this week we get it rolling. This is the bracket to to make to hold on the wheel. It's not finished yet because we need to put a slot there. This is the beginning of the slot. So this is the slot where the wheel's gonna go. Now I'm going to deburr it so I don't cut myself full of handling it. This here is how we're gonna attach the wheel. We're gonna put screws through this hole. So there's a slot which allows you to slip it on. And um, these actually can't, these are actually stuck really hard. There's an axle inside that turns. Obviously the and uh, we're going to attach a chain to there, which will allow us, hopefully, to change gear, that being slower, so that being fastest. Oh, and also, it, these slots here mean that you can move it backwards and forwards to tension the chain. I've got a pack of mounting brackets. Who wants to play? These are all. These are the mounting brackets for the back wheel. I'm going to make, I'm about to make the mounting bracket for the front wheel and I'm going to f drill through four pieces of steel. Let's hope it will work. Let's put some lubricant on. You need, you need your lubricant for this if you're drilling through that. I'm going to put on my safety glasses. Me. Let's just not mean just don't tell dad that um it was steaming hot. <laughs> I've got a bigger pack if anybody else wants to play. Now I'm putting the brackets onto the wooden frame. The first step is to hammer in a transfer punch to find the centre of the hole. Then you drill through here. Well, there's more, certainly more rubber washers in here than tech screws. So, we get the triple, and you drill it in, and out to touch the metal like so there and then stop it from going to tight you use something where you can feel how high it is yep that's definitely right and then the process starts all over again so I've put the bracket on and now we can attach it to the chassis it goes just under here, it will attach just under there. Now I've put, I'm putting in the other beam. I'm putting in the other beam. As you see, I've put the wheel in, but it's not like um what you'd call a. Well, last time I checked, it wasn't what you'd call completely attached but when you do this it looks very much like a screwdriver So, the 
roll and leg is finished. Um, we're soon we'll be able to attach the electric motors. But in the meantime, if any of you have any 3,000 meter high mountains, please let me drive down them 